This case here is just absolutely mind-blowingly distressing. Uh, I mean, this is just horrible. Here's two beautiful, beautiful Gumby Gumby trees, possibly 80, 90 years old. They may even be 100 years old. Right beside the farmer's fence. Here's the farmer's fence line right beside them. But these trees are out in the public uh, domain on public land in the road reserve. Here's the road reserve out here. And you can see where they've bulldozed the road reserve and just decimated it. There were many, many gumby trees in this area, but they're all been decimated and the other remaining trees on the boundary have all been poisoned by the farmers here. And I guess some farmer has come out here or one of their workers has come out here and actually hacked into this tree. These two gumby gumby trees, you see the hack marks with their tomahawks. And this is a typical way that you hack into a tree and put tordon in it. So you call it tordoning trees. And you can see the hack marks in these trees where they've hacked into them, poured tree poison called tordon into the trees and subsequently they've died. This is a tragedy, a dreadful, dreadful tragedy. It's really vandalism because this is on public land. This is land that both you and I as Queenslanders own. This is not the farmer's land. The farmer's land is from that stake and the barbed wire over the fence. That's all his land there. Heaps and heaps and heaps of it as far as the eye can see. All the way to the precious mountains. You know, what's wrong with these people? Why do they have to come out here and poison trees, gumby gumby trees, and actually single them out for special treatment. Here are other trees around here. That uh, There's an emu apple that hasn't been poisoned. And there's other ones that are inside the farmer's property, emu apples, that haven't been poisoned. But no, they've stepped outside the boundary onto public land, not their land, to, for the express purpose of killing gumby gumby trees, the most precious tree on the face of the earth. Here's another emu apple tree here. There's a black wattle tree which they've poisoned. Here's another nondescript tree that have poisoned here. This is all out in the road reserve, well and truly in the road reserve, where they're not supposed to go unless they have a special permit to do so from the council. This is criminal. You know, if somebody came into a lovely park or garden in public space, they hacked into precious trees, say gumby gumby trees in a park, and they poisoned them, they'd be fined very heavily or taken to court and uh, put in jail for a period of time to teach them a lesson. But out here, the farmers come out onto the public road reserve where they have no right to go unless they've got a permit from the council. And what council in their right mind would give a permit to farmers to come out into the road reserve specifically to kill gumby gumby trees? That's just insane. That's madness. That's horrific. It just leaves my heart distraught. And when traditional owners of this land of Australia see these sort of things, it, it's no wonder that it aggrieves them in their hearts. You just never get over something like this. It's just awful. What words can describe doing this? It's vandalism. It's it's criminal and it really has to be stopped. This kind of mentality uh, is just um, inhuman. It certainly isn't Christian.